Now, I said that there's a uh, different type of authentication mechanisms and technologies that we're going to go through. So we're going to look at biometrics, the different types of biometrics, um, token devices that create one-time passwords, uh, memory and smart cards, and a little bit about cryptography keys, even though we're going to uh, kind of pass over that so, because we have a whole domain on that. So the first thing we'll look at is biometrics. And biometrics is a technology that's been around for a long, long time. And we've, the industry has kind of been waiting for years for it to <clears throat> come, you know, make its own, just like uh, PKI. You know, next year is going to be the one for PKI. The next year is going to be the one for PKI. And the same thing happened with biometrics. We thought next year it's going to become more important. Next year the industry is going to want it more. And you know, it, it, a lot of biometrics company came and went waiting for that boom, but of course it was really after September 11th um, that biometrics really started to get um, more interesting and more used within the uh, industry. So, because it's hard to move from something cheap like passwords to something more expensive and complex like biometrics. And people, users, we don't, we don't like it as much. It's, it's in our space, you know. It's, it's, um, it's too personal, but we're getting more and more used to it because we have to to provide the necessary level of protection that's required. So with biometrics, there's some type of a, uh, a reader, there's a scanning device. Um, so you will put, maybe if it's a finger scan, you'll put your finger in there. Um, you know, if it's a palm uh, scan, um, if it's an iris, there's some type of reader and it's gonna collect the data uh, from that body part and um, put it in a back-end database. So basically what happens is you go through an enroll process just like any type of user account that's being set up. So if you're used to how user accounts are set up, passwords are assigned, it's really the same thing. There's a user account that's set up on some type of authentication database and then the user is asked to put, let's say, their finger in the reader. And during the enrollment process, the user will ask, be asked to do that a few times so the reader can get an actual uh, very good read on uh, the information. And it, it takes different vectors on the fingerprint and takes that um, the, into a binary, puts it into a binary format. And so it depends on the, bio, the biometric um, tool. It may encrypt or it may do a hash, but it's not going to go over necessarily in that binary format directly back to the authentication server. So it's going to take the, the information um, from your finger, different vectors, it'll put it into a mathematical formula or into binary, and then it can encrypt it and send it back to the uh, authentication database.